Hey everyone, today we're introducing two new movements. We're gonna start by taking a look at our lunge. The lunge is a unilateral movement, which means you're performing that movement on one side of your body at a time. Then we're gonna incorporate the burpee, which a lot of people love to hate, but it can actually be a really useful fitness tool. So let's move into our warm up. Today's warm up is gonna begin with three minutes of light cardio at a conversational pace. So whether that's a light jog or if you have a stationary bike, whatever you have available, three minutes, conversational. We're then going to move into some dynamic movements. Starting with our leg swing. So you're going to want to find an upright position, whether it's a rack or a PVC pipe or a wall. We're going to hold on to that to support ourselves and swing our legs forward and backward, one leg at a time. Once we've done this with both legs, we'll then move and do it from side to side. Once you've done that with both legs, we're going to move into our inchworm to push-up. An inchworm to push-up is where we walk our hands out into a push-up position, complete a push-up, and then walk our hands back. It's going to look like this. If you can't complete a push-up right now, we can stay at this plank position. We're then going to walk our hands all the way back, and if we can't get all the way to our feet, we'll go as far as flexibility allows and stand up. Let's go get warm. Let's take a look at our lunge. The lunge is one of our foundational human movements. It's gonna come up in a lot of our programming, so let's take a look at the basics today. I'm gonna demo a couple reps for you, and then we're gonna break down this movement and look at four points of performance, starting with our leading leg. When we're in our lunge, we're gonna wanna check in and make sure we've created a 90 degree angle with our leading leg. We're gonna to wanna to make sure our knee is stacked over our ankle and our foot is in full contact with the ground. We're also gonna to wanna to take a look at our torso. We're gonna to wanna engage our core when we go into our lunge so that our, we're not overextending and we're not overarching and leaning backwards. We're gonna to wanna to make sure our shoulder is in line with our hips and our torso remains neutral. From there, we're also gonna to wanna to check in with our back leg and make sure that our back leg is also creating a 90 degree angle and that our hip is stacked over our knee. The last thing we wanna look at is our hip width stance. So a lot of people, when they complete this movement, they wanna walk on a tightrope. But instead, we wanna think of this movement as performing it on train tracks and we wanna keep our feet at a hip width distance. So that looks like this. It's gonna help you maintain your balance throughout the duration of the movement. Now everyone's gonna break apart. We're gonna do three sets of six reps. That's three reps per leg. Today we're gonna to take a look at our burpee. I'm gonna perform one for you and then we're gonna break down the movement. The burpee starts with the athlete standing tall with hip, hips extended. The athlete's gonna move to the floor, bring themselves to the floor and make sure their hips and their thighs come into contact with the ground. From there, they're gonna snap themselves off the floor and jump and clap overhead. We're gonna take a look at a few scaling options next. Let's look at four different scaling options for our burpee. The first one is a burpee to plank. We're gonna place our hands on the ground, step our feet back into, until we're in a plank position and then walk our feet forward and end with our jump and clap. The sec second option is a step down, step up style burpee. So we're gonna step our feet back and strictly lower ourselves to the ground. And we're also going to step our feet forward and end the movement with a jump and clap. The third option is to hop back and step up. So we're going to lower our hands to the ground, hop our feet back, but we're gonna finish the movement with a step up and a jump and clap. The fourth option is a hop down, hop back up, we're gonna push our feet back to hop ourselves to the ground. We're then gonna hop our feet as close to our hands as we can and finish with a jump and clap. Now let's all break into groups, try a few reps of each and determine which one we're most comfortable with for our workout today. Let's move into our finisher. For today's finisher, we're all gonna be completing 30 alternating lunges, two minutes of burpees, 20 alternating lunges, one minute of burpees, 
10 alternating lunges, and then we're finishing off with 30 seconds of burpees. Today, the focus of, is about honing in on our form and technique for the two new movements we learned today. Today is not about speed. For the burpee, we're gonna wanna pick a burpee variation that allows us to move through the workout at a slow and controlled pace. For the lunge, remember that each rep counts towards the total. First, so for our set of 30 reps, we're really doing 15 per leg. Let's get after it. That's it for today. We just learned two new movements, the lunge and our burpee. Great job, everyone.